Happy holidays, everyone. Right now, you are part of a four-year-long tradition on this channel. At the start of December, I do my Nintendo Switch holiday buying guide, where I take 150 Switch games, and I let you know, no matter who you're buying for this holiday season, if it's yourself or a loved one, these are the games that you should be getting or you should be staying away from. Because I want to help you be a hero this Christmas day, that game that you stuff into little Jimmy's stocking, I want it to be the best game possible. These are games that right now, if you were to walk into a GameStop, Walmart, or any store that sells games, or if you're being safe this holiday season and shopping online, these are the popular games that you will most likely come across this holiday season. And I've broken them down into categories. First, we have the full price $50 to $60 games. Then we have the mid-range $30 to $40 games. And finally, the $10 to $20 games. From there, I've broken them down again into three more categories. The must-buy games, the maybe games. And then finally, we have the avoid games. These are the games you stay away from because nobody wants them this holiday holiday season. Something I'm doing different this year to other years. I'm going to start with the games that came out this year. Chances are whoever you're buying games for has had a Switch for a while now and you might want to know which games came out recently. Almost every single game I mentioned I've more than likely reviewed on the channel. So if you want to find out more about the individual games go to the description down below because I will list all of my reviews for all of these games and I'll even link to Amazon where you can go and buy the game. I'm hoping it makes it easier for you to find something cool this Christmas or whatever you're celebrating and giving gifts for. Now we're going to hear a quick word from today's sponsor and then we'll get started. Oh hi, I can't believe it's almost Christmas already. In fact, Kim and I went to a Christmas tree farm today and I cut down my first Christmas tree. Kind of hope there's no spiders in it. Oh, and what's this? It looks like old Saint Nick has stopped by my house already <laughs> and left just a ton of Vessies. As you guys know, I've had my Vessies for several months now. They are tough and flexible, but still really comfortable. They look stylish and best of all, they are 100% waterproof, which is perfect for the wet weather season. It rained today while we were out there at the Christmas tree farm thing that we were at. And everyone I was with was like, oh no, my socks are gonna get wet. And I was like, oh, what a shame. Mine won't. <laughs> and sure, I got them a little dirty today. But all I had to do when I got home was rinse them off under some water. And right now, Vessi is having an incredible early holiday sale. So don't procrastinate and wait to do your Christmas shopping and then wind up on Christmas with nothing to give. Just check the link below. And if you miss their sale, you can still use my code BEAT'EMUPS to get $25 off your Vessi shoes. Okay, now I really am scared about spiders. So I'm getting out of here. <laughs> Let's start with the full price $50 to $60 must buy games. And when I say must buy, I mean you can't go wrong with these games. The games that'll throw a smile onto anybody's face. You will be the hero of this holiday season. So every single year I start with the main three. Mario Odyssey, Breath of the Wild, and Super Smash Brothers. Then last year I added a fourth, Pokemon Sword or Shield. This year I'm adding a fifth game into that, Animal Crossing. These five games are the games. The best that Nintendo Switch has to offer. And out of those, Animal Crossing released this year. It's the newest one. And I'm telling you, for kids, children, adults, elderly, it's a perfect Christmas gift if they don't have it already. From there, we have two other new games this year. Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity and Mario 3D All-Stars. Hyrule Warriors is the newest Zelda game. It's a prequel game to Zelda Breath of the Wild. However, it's a very different style of game than Breath of the Wild, but any big Zelda fan is going to need this in their collection. And Mario 3D All-Stars is three of the best 3D platformer Mario games put into one package. This game might actually be pretty hard to find later on, so if you have a retro gamer in your house or someone that loves Mario games, this game could be perfect for them. Also, Paper Mario, which I actually missed when I was making this video somehow, but it's a Mario game, so it's always a safe bet. So from there, we have some older Switch games that are still Still staples for the console, Luigi's Mansion 3, Mario Kart 8, Xenoblade 2, and Splatoon 2. With Splatoon 2, I always like to mention there is a paid online subscription service if you want to play the game. It's a few dollars a month, but it's still something to look 
out for. That is all the expensive must-buy games. Now, let's look at the $30 to $40 must-buy games. So a couple of new games that came out this year, starting with Clubhouse Games 51. This game is a pack of 51 other games, ranging from board games to card games, but it's great family fun. Minecraft Dungeons is another new one. It's a dungeon crawler, kind of like Diablo, but more child-friendly. I actually really liked it a lot. And then this year, they brought out a Sonic Mania Plus Team Sonic Racing Double Pack, and it's only $30. Both of these games are really fun, and it's the same price as buying both of them separately. From there, you have Crash Team Racing, New Super Lucky's Tale, Hollow Knight, Moonlighter. Dead Cells has a Game of the Year edition now, so look for that one. It has all the DLC added in. Overcooked 1 and 2, you can get a double pack with both Overcooked games. People love these games. They're another great family game. Undertale, Shovel Knight, Minecraft, Spyro Trilogy, and Crash Trilogy. Then we have the 10 to $20 games that are must-buys. These games make for perfect stocking stuffers. You almost can't go wrong. Xenoblade 2, Torn of Golden Country, has actually dipped down to $25, so I'm throwing it in here. It's a prequel game to the original Xenoblade 2, but it's a really big, fully fleshed out story of its own. Then I always recommend Starling. This game is just super fun, and it's been $10 to $20 pretty much since it released. It didn't sell very well, so it dropped down from that $60 price pretty quick. Mario and Rabbids is also great and always really cheap. Forager has dropped in price. Katamari, it'll do two. And any Telltale game you can find, it's always worth the money. Okay, all right. So there was a lot of games there in that must-buy section. I would say if you're looking to buy games this Christmas, start with all of those. And you can pick and mix, you know, buy a couple of the expensive games or buy one expensive game and then a couple of cheap ones. But you can't go wrong with any. That said, if you didn't like the look of any of those or maybe the person you're buying for or you yourself have all of those, let's go into the maybes. Okay, starting with the 50 to $60 games. Well, actually, there is one even more expensive than that, and that's Mario Kart Home Circuit. It's like $99, I think. It's really expensive, but it's awesome. It's expensive because it actually comes with a RC Mario Kart card. You can make tracks out of your own house and then race in augmented reality around your room. All you need is the game and your Switch. It is really cool and a great Christmas gift, but obviously it's expensive so I put it in maybe. Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. I put this in maybe because it is a remaster of a game that came out many years ago. So there's always the off chance that maybe someone's already played it back on the Wii and they don't want to play it again. Immortals Phoenix Rising. I initially put this one in maybe, but I've been playing it the last few days early on my Switch and I'm now realizing it should probably be in must buy because it's great and I don't know why I put it in maybe. If you like games like Breath of the Wild, you're gonna really love this one because it's pretty much the same. <laughs> Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team. It is good, but you have the main Pokemon Sword and Shield. And I like to always make sure that maybe mums and dads buying for their kids are buying the right Pokemon game that their kids want. And that's more than likely Pokemon Sword and Shield, which are the big main Pokemon games that are out right now. Same goes for Pokemon Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu. Those are remakes of older Pokemon games. They're not the newest ones, but they are really good. We have Captain I Can't Pronounce Rise of New Champion. I haven't played this one, but I've heard really great things. It looks like a soccer game, but it's an RPG? I don't know, but apparently it's really good. <laughs> a new Kingdom Hearts game, Melody of Memory. It's not like the traditional Kingdom Hearts game, it's a rhythm-based game, but it's getting really good reviews and I'm looking forward to playing it. Tokyo Mirage Sessions Encore, another fantastic RPG, but I always put these Wii U ports into this maybe section because chances are someone's already played it. And then Just Dance 2021. Just because I don't like them doesn't mean that other people don't. <laughs> also, while making this video, they announced Doom Eternal is releasing on Switch December 8th. Look, this game released everywhere else like a year ago, but if you know someone who really wants to slay demons on the go this holiday season, this could be perfect. <laughs> okay, those are all the new games, and then we also have Fire Emblem Three Houses, which I really debated putting that in a must-buy this year, honestly. Link's Awakening, again, I think that's a must-buy, especially if you're buying like a Switch Lite for a kid or something, Link's Awakening is a great idea. But just like with Pokemon, this Zelda game is not the main Zelda game that everyone's loving and talking 
talking about right now. That is Breath of the Wild, or I guess Age of Calamity. Super Mario Maker 2 is always good. Astral Chain, Dragon Quest Builders 2, Dragon Quest 11S, Octopath Traveler, Yeez 8, Ring Fit Adventure. Super Mario Party is a great family game. But if you're buying this game for your kid who's more than likely just going to play it on their own, this is a horrible game to get them. Don't do it. Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3. I debated this one because I don't think it's still worth $60, but it's not a bad game, especially if there's a Marvel fan in the house. Labo Kids. For kids with a creative mind that love building things, this could be a perfect holiday gift. It really depends on who you're buying it for, but there's a few different kinds and I would go the VR one, honestly. Yoshi's Crafted World is a really cute, fun game for younger audiences, but bear in mind, it's like six hours long. Mario Tennis Aces, it's, it's tennis but it's good. It's good. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. It's Olympic Games, but I mean, it's good. <laughs> Pikmin 3, actually, that's new. Came out like a month ago, but it's also not new. It's also a port from the last Nintendo console, the Wii U. And this game is also kind of a hit and miss. I love it, but there's a lot of people that might not like it. So it's a gamble game. Also, speaking of Wii U ports, there's Donkey Kong Country and Bayonetta on Switch. Hyrule Warriors was also on the last console, but I want to mention, don't get this one confused with the new Zelda game. I only have so much time to explain everything here, but Hyrule Warriors is a spin-off Zelda game made by a different team. It was such a cool little game that Nintendo got the same people to make Age of Calamity and they actually tied the new one into the story. Don't get it confused with Age of Calamity is what I'm saying. Age of Calamity is the new one. Get that one. And then Diablo 3, Skyrim, Witcher 3, and Doom. Pretty much everyone loves these games and their safe bets. But I do want to mention that the price for these games have stayed at about this $50 to $60 range while they are like almost 10, 20 bucks on other consoles. So if your kid has like an Xbox, get him Skyrim on Xbox. Okay, what did I say? Big section. Now we go down to the 30 to $40 mid-range games and there's just as many. There's a lot. Sukuna Rice and Ruin is the newest one. It's a 2D side-scroller beat-em-up style game with some farming elements. It's really fun. Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth. Oddworld New and Tasty. That is a full remake of the original Oddworld game you might have played on PlayStation 1 and a fun trip down memory lane. Wonderful 101 came out this year and not many people talked about it. Catherine Full Body. This is for mature audiences, not for kids, but it's a really fun puzzle game with a really cool story. Then we have a puzzle publisher called 2K Games release a ton of their best games on the Switch this year. There was Bioshock Collection, including all three Bioshock games, Borderlands Collection, including both Borderland games and DLC, and then the XCOM games, and I highly recommend them, especially Bioshock and Borderlands. My Hero Academia fans, there is a new fighting game, My Hero Wants Justice 2. It's a, actually a really solid fighter. There were two old school racing games that got remasters this year, Burnout Paradise and Need for Speed. Speed remaster and they're both really good. Oddworld Munch's Odyssey No Straight Roads is very good. I really like it. A big RPG, Trials of Mana, The Survivalist, A Hat in Time. A Hat in Time could be a really good stocking stuffer gift for a kid, or really anyone. It's kind of similar to Mario 64 or those older Nintendo platformer games. Trials of Cold Steel 3, Sniper Elite 4 if you want to explode some skulls, and then Metro Redux was a big first person shooter game that came to the Switch this year. That's all the new games. There's a lot to pick from. Then for some staple $30 to $40 games that you'll find in the stores. Dragon Quest Builders, Nino Kuni, Dragon Ball Fighters, The South Park Games, Dark Souls, The Resident Evil Triple Pack, Overwatch, any Final Fantasy games you can find, Captain Toad, Monster Hunter Generations. I'm putting this in maybe this year and not must buy, only because there is a new Monster Hunter Rise coming out pretty soon next year, so you might want to hold off for the new one. However, if you're looking to play this one before the new one, Wolfenstein 2. Kim and I actually really like playing the Trine games. Make sure when you buy this, there's a Trine 4 pack that comes with all four games. And it's the same price as buying the other games separately. And then any Lego game you find. If it says Lego on it, Lego Batman, Lego Star Wars, you know, whatever. It's always going to be worth it. Some cool stocking stuffer games this year for $10 to $20 in the maybe section. Darksider Genesis? I almost thought about putting this in must-buy for the price. It's a top-down game, kind of like the Diablo games. It's 
in the Darksiders universe, and it's really fun. I don't think it did very well, so it's really cheap, but you can play it with friends, you can play it alone. It's great. And then you also have Saints Row 4 that came out this year, but then there's Saints Row 3 as well on the console. Both of these games are a lot like GTA 5, but crazier versions of them. Speaking of Darksiders, Darksiders 1 and 2, especially the second game, it plays kind of like Zelda games. Travis Strikes Again. Last year, I put this in a void, actually, when it was around $40. I said, nah, maybe not. But for 10 to 20 bucks, yeah. The World Ends With You is crazy cheap right now. This is a really fun game, and a sequel just got announced. So it's a perfect time to buy it super cheap and get caught up. Portal Knights is always great for kids. Ghostbusters Remastered on the Switch is great. Resident Evil Origins Collections, Terraria, Sushi Striker is like $10 now. It's actually a forgotten about Nintendo game. The Assassin's Creed games are cheap on the Switch now. Super Monkey Ball would be great for kids. And Oddworld Stranger's Wrath is cheap. If you just want to be a hero this holiday season, just pick any of those 10, 20 games and throw them in a stocking. You can throw three games in there for 30 bucks. It's a good deal. We're at the avoid section. Don't buy these games, and I'll tell you why. 50 to $60 expensive games. Duh. Blech. Bakugan Champions of Vestoria. It's a new Bakugan game, and I can see this getting parents because it comes in a big box, and there's toys that go along with it, and it looks fun. It's not. The game's actually kind of meh. It looks like a mobile game. I guarantee you, in like six months, this game's gonna be 30 bucks. One, two, Switch, and ARMS are two Nintendo Switch games that I feel like parents think they should be games that you should get. Like, one to switch it's too expensive and it's not fun and arms it's not a bad game but why is it still full price needs to be like thirty dollars i usually get into hot water for some of these and just like with mario brothers u deluxe i usually say don't buy that for full price don't get kirby because it's like three or four hours long that's the only reason Pokemon tournament and damon x machina damon x machina it's a hit or miss game a lot of people aren't gonna like it i don't think it's worth the price even for the audience that does like it and just nobody's playing Pokemon tournament anymore thirty to forty dollar yeah i got some new games in here. Cobra Kai. I'm throwing this on here because Cobra Kai is kind of big right now. It's on Netflix. Ah, uh, but the game sucks. <laughs> Cooking Mama Cookstar. This game just looks like a game that would be fun to have on Switch, but it's not. It was rushed. There was a whole controversy behind it, but it's not a good game. Farming Simulator 20. Jumanji. It's a goodish movie. The game's not good. Jump Force Deluxe. I'm only saying don't buy this because I feel like it's going to be one of those $10, $20 games on clearance pretty soon. The Outer Worlds. It's cheaper on a lot of other consoles, and end of the day, it looks like poopy and runs like poopy on the switch then team sonic racing only because i already told you about that double pack earlier rocket league is free to play on switch now just play it free same goes for fortnite there's a new fortnite joker last laugh bundle pack something on the shelves this christmas season it's just a way to get parents to buy fortnite it's free don't buy it. Tetris 99. Yeah, I know when you buy it, you get a couple extra modes, two-player something. Just play it for free. No one, no one cares. And then you got that Narcos game based on the TV show. Wolfenstein Young Blood. Overcooked 1 or 2 individually. Buy them in a the double pack. Two games for the price of one better deal. And then the games I always say stay away from, WWE 2K18, don't buy Ark. A lot of kids seem to want Ark on their Switch. It's just, it's not good. It doesn't run well at all. Zombieland Double Tap isn't a good game. And then yeah, that brings us to uh, the 10 to $20 get even for 10 bucks, don't buy it. I know I said buy anything with Lego on it, but I do have to say Lego Worlds isn't very fun. There's better Lego games. Sonic Forces, Shaq Fu, Troll and I, Carnival Games. This is another one of those games that I always see on the store shelves. It seems like the kind of game a parent would buy, just on blind faith that that would be fun for their kid. I'm pretty confident that is everything you will run into this holiday season, buying gifts for people or yourself. If you happen to see something else, or I did miss something off the list, you can always uh, come back to my channel because I more than likely have a review of it. But I do really hope this video helped you or it just got you in the holiday spirit. All right. I love you all. Have a great whatever. Um, ho, ho, uh, bye. <laughs>